Hello everyone. This video will demonstrate how you can create work orders using the AutoSyst fleet maintenance software. Uh, our work order system currently is combined with our reminder system. So if you go and log into the portal or on the mobile app, you click on reminders and then you want to go ahead and click on add reminder. Now what this will do is you can create basically a work order ticket here. You can attach any documentation or pictures of anything by clicking the add files button. Again, you can do this through the mobile app and take pictures of things as well. And then you would want to put the title of the work order here. So for example, if you need to repair the front tire, we have a drop down here you can select and then you can just uh, select repair front tire. And then instead of setting up a normal reminder where you can do it by uh, recurring intervals or putting the odometer, since it's a work order you likely want to do it by date so you can just fill out the date field so let's say we want to go ahead and complete the work order by today today is the 29th um, also note that on the garage there's no notification bubble right now so just keep an eye on that because when the when the work order is due or a reminder is due uh, that does come up as a bubble notification and then you want to leave all the other fields blank then you can set a priority level like high medium or low and then you can also put any notes here that this needs to be done ASAP or whatever you want to put in the notes. And then you also have the ability to add custom fields. Now, here are a couple sample fields we've already added. So anything with the red X by it are custom fields. So you can add as much as, and as many custom fields to your work order ticket as you want to really personalize it and make it, uh, you know, make it useful for what you need it. Um, after you've done that, you hit save. And then since we put today's date, you'll actually see now that there's a bubble notification on the garage letting you know that unit 100 has an open reminder which is the work order and it'll show as due and then basically this will send out notifications to your team, uh, anyone that you assign to the uh, to the unit as uh, as an email notification as well as a push notification wherever the app is installed. So they'll get multiple notifications and also bubble notifications letting them know that it's due. Now whoever completes the work order, they can go ahead and click into the actions column here and you'll able to email it, um, snooze it, or actually mark it completed. So let's say we went ahead and marked it completed. You hit mark is completed, then it'll ask you, do you want to create a service record for this completed reminder. Uh, it's up to you whether you want to click yes or no. Uh, if you click yes, it'll automatically create a service record in the service section. For the sake of time, I'm going to hit no. And then now you'll see that if I put repair front tire, I have a couple of other examples that I had did pr done previously. So you can see it dated and it'll show that it's been completed. So that's the simple way that you are able to create the work orders. Um, if you have any questions, please email us at info at autosyst.com. And to learn more, you can always visit our website at autosyst.com. Thank you very much, and we look forward to seeing you next video.